Hey Omis, welcome to Om Yoga. I am Mary Omira. This week's class is a 20 minute post kettlebell workout that's going to help us get into the areas that can get tight, that can get sore, and that can just feel like we need a little bit of stretching out. The only thing you're gonna need for class today is your block. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. All right, Omis, let's begin seated on our knees. I'm gonna give you the option to use a block for our hero's pose. I'm also gonna give you the option to do without because this class typically is done post-workout, right? So we're already warmed up. So we're gonna take the knees together, feet are gonna come out, and we're gonna sit on the block. Okay, and then we're gonna walk the feet in a little bit. Now, this is designed to get into the quads, get a nice stretch. Okay, so you have the option to stay lifted, but you probably don't feel it very much. So we're gonna to start to walk the hands back. You don't want any pain within the knees. Just be sure to press the knees in towards one another though. But again, you don't want pain within them. And then lean back until you start to feel this gentle stretch within the quads. If this isn't enough for you because you are open, you're gonna take and remove the block, set the block to the top, and then you move your calves out of your way as you sit onto your mat. Might need to move the feet out a little bit too. And then again, hands are gonna come behind you. We're gonna lift the heart, lift the chest. Maybe even come down to the palms and just lean until you get this gorgeous stretch. And I say gorgeous because it should feel really good on your quads, especially if they're sore, okay? Just breathe into it. No pain in the knees though, so if we do have pain, you're gonna bring yourself up a layer, okay? And just stay with the breath. You can take this class throughout the week, even if you're not, you know, even if it's not post kettlebell or strength training. But this is something that I came up with because I needed something for my own practice that was designed to work after a kettlebell or, you know, a good weight class. All right, slowly breathe into the stretch. And then we're gonna gently press into the palms, lift the heart, come up. We're gonna find our way into our tabletop pose for a moment. Okay, so walk the knees back underneath the hips. The wrists are gonna be under the shoulders. And then we're just gonna bend into the feet here and gently press back. So it's kind of like um, in between child's pose and our table and then come back up. And it helps if you have a comfortable mat. I actually have a new mat today. Um, it's from Gels. It's super comfortable. It's super comfortable. So this is a really comfortable mat for me to actually use after my kettlebell stuff where my body is already warmed up and maybe a little tired. Okay, so to continue to rock back a little bit, bending into the feet still. And then we're gonna come back up, press into the palms, pull the belly in. We're gonna exhale, press into our downward facing dog. We're not doing any sun A here um, because again, the body is nice and warm already. And we're just gonna pedal into the feet here. Okay, and then we're gonna come back to stillness. We're gonna inhale, take the right leg up, and then we're gonna exhale, bend into the knee. We'll try to get the booty with the heel here and just open into the hip. Continue to press into the hands. I know your arms might be a little sore or a little jello-y from working with your weights. We won't be here long. Okay, now we're gonna exhale, come into your runner's lunge. Plant your right foot forward. You have your block if you need to stay a little bit lifted here. Otherwise, your hands are on either side of the right foot. We're gonna inhale to straighten the right leg. Then we're gonna exhale to bend. Again, inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend, inhale to straighten. Now we're gonna exhale, bend, drop to your back knee. We're gonna inhale into our crescent moon. You can take your hands to the tops of your thighs here today though, rather than lifting them up. But by all means, if you wanna lift up, you can. We will flow with this. And I want us to draw the right hip back as the left hip comes forward. And again, breathing space into the body. Cause for me, I know when I, take my kettlebell classes, I feel a little closed off after. So we're just thinking expansion and stretch here. Okay, stay with the breath, inhale. Now we're gonna exhale, option one, you're gonna take your left hand down to the ground, toe heel your right foot out to the edge of the mat. Do that even if you're gonna stay here. Now your right hand is on the right knee. Gently begin to press the knee open as long as it feels good. Option to stay. Second option, begin to look over towards the right shoulder. 
And because we're warmed up, we're gonna bend into the left knee and we're gonna reach around for the left foot. If this isn't accessible, stay with the knee bent. If you can't reach your hand back, that's okay. You will feel this in your quads. Again, getting into the quads, giving them love. Okay, now we're gonna inhale to come back. We're gonna exhale, step into our high plank. You have the option for a chaturanga here. Today, I'm gonna press back to downward facing dog. Right, we've already worked the body, but if, hey, type A, go for it. I'll probably take some chaturangas, but for right now, <laughs> we're sticking to down dog. We're gonna inhale, take the left leg up. Now we're gonna exhale, bend into the knee, open it up. Reach the heel towards the booty, reach the knee towards the sky. Press into the palms. One more inhale. Now we're gonna exhale, come into our runner's lunge, okay? And then we're gonna inhale to straighten the front leg, draw the left hip back. We're gonna exhale to bend. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, bend, crescent moon. Release the back knee, untuck the toes, and then come up. Take the hands to the top of the left thigh. Squeeze the inner thighs together, right hip forward, left hip back. We will flow through this, right? But this first round, we're just really getting into where the body feels today. Now we're gonna take the right hand down and then everybody toe heel the left foot out. Make sure that the knee is behind the ankle. Okay, you can stay here. Otherwise, we're gonna inhale, take the left arm up, and then we're gonna exhale, bend into the right leg this time as we reach around and grab for the foot. If that's not accessible, stay with your left hand on your left knee and just bend into the right knee. Again, quads are the focus right now. And I have to say, this mat is heaven on my knees right now. So if you have sensitive knees, a squishy mat is really important. And this one does just that. Okay, one more breath. Now we're gonna inhale, come back through, left hand down, press up, step back to your high plank, and then press back to downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna inhale, take the right leg up, but we're not gonna bend the knee this time. We're gonna exhale, come into our runner's lunge. Straighten the leg, bend, straighten, bend. One more, straighten, bend, release down, crescent moon, hands to the knee. Lift the heart, lift the chest again, breathe space into the body. Okay, now we're gonna take the left hand down, toe heel, the right foot out. You can stay, or you're gonna bend into the left knee, reach for the foot, or remember you can also press the right knee open here. One more inhale. One more exhale. We're gonna inhale, come back. We're gonna exhale, press into our high plank, find your way to down dog. So again, you do have the option for chaturanga. You also have the option for your down dog. Listen to what you need. Inhale, left leg to the sky. We're gonna exhale, runner's lunge. We're gonna inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Straighten, bend, straighten, bend, drop to the right knee, untuck the toes, come into your crescent moon. Lift the heart, lift the chest, just breathe into the right side here. Now we're gonna take the right hand down, toe heel out, stay or find your stretch, okay? Hands, no hands, totally up to you. Breathing. Opening up and expanding. And then we're gonna come back, left hand down, lift it up, step it into your high plank, meet in downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna take the right leg up, Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, bend. Straighten, bend. Straighten, 
Pause here for a moment. Now draw the toes towards the face. Breathing into the calves here. Now we're gonna exhale, release the foot, release the knee. Lift your arms up this time in your crescent moon. We're gonna take the hands back behind us, our last level here, layer here, we're gonna add on. Take your right thumb on top, roll the shoulders back and down, lift the heart, lift the gaze, squeeze the belly and squeeze the inner thighs together. And then see if you can bend a little deeper into the front leg and relax into your uh, left hip a little bit more. And now we're gonna come back up, arms sweep up. We're gonna exhale, left hand down, right hand to the knee, right foot out as we twist. Stay or bend, this is our last time here. We're gonna hold this for five rounds of breath. Again, this is a focus to stretch, to open. For three, two, And one. Release your hand down. Come into your high plank. Move your way into down dog. Continue to breathe. Last side through. Left leg to the sky. Exhale. Runner's lunge. Okay, we're going to inhale to straighten. Exhale, bend. Straighten, bend, straighten, bend. Okay, now we're gonna straighten one more time. Draw the left toes towards the shin. Breathe into the back side of the body. You'll feel this calf and hamstring. Go ahead and release the foot, release the right knee. Inhale, arm sweep up this time. We're gonna exhale. Clasp the hands behind, left thumb comes on top. Roll the shoulders back and down, breathe in, gaze up. Just breathing into the chest, the shoulders. Bend into the front knee, or I should say lean into the front knee a little bit more. And then we're gonna inhale, let the arms sweep up. We're gonna exhale, right hand down, left foot out. And then we're gonna inhale, take the left arm up and find our twist. It's so funny. Let me know how you feel. Does your body have one side that gets more sore than the other? <laughs> I do, and I always love to know. I'm like, am I the only one? Here we, here we go for three. For two. Last one. We're gonna inhale, release. Take the hand to the floor, lift up. We're gonna find our way into our downward facing dog. Pedal it out a moment and just feel the space that we've brought in. All right, and then we're gonna inhale to look forward. We're gonna exhale, glide into a high plank, and then we're gonna lower all the way down to the belly. Continuing to stretch into the shoulders, we're gonna come into our alligator pose. Okay, so we're gonna take our left arm out. Make sure that your left hand is directly out from the shoulder, and then we're gonna drop the left ear down. Right hand is in front of the face, and then we're gonna roll over onto the left side of the body. You can keep the hips stacked here or you can bend into your right knee and plant your right foot behind the left knee. Option to stay. Another option is to lift the right arm up and then gently allow the right arm to fall back as well. You can turn the palm down like you're gonna high five the left hand, but clearly you can't because the palm's down <laughs> and we won't be able to touch it, it's fine. Stay with the breath. Breathe into the shoulders. Okay, and then we're gonna come over to the other side. We're gonna take the right hand back in front of the face, roll onto the belly, and then take the right arm out. Again, make sure that the right hand is directly out from the shoulder. Then we're gonna drop the right ear down, roll over onto the hips. So either we stack here, 
okay? Or we bend into the left knee as the left knee comes behind the leg. Option to keep the left hand down. Another option is to lift it up and then drop the hand back behind you. You don't want this to be too intense. This should feel good. Again, think about space and expansion and this stretch. And then we're going to come back, take the left hand down, roll back onto the belly, and then you're just going to flip yourself over one way or the other. We're going to end up on our back. Coming into our happy baby, make sure you have room to lay all the way down here. Okay, so we're going to take the knees into the chest first, give them a squeeze. And then we're going to take the knees out and the feet up. Okay, so if you can't grab onto your feet here, you can take your hands behind your thighs. You can also take your hands behind the legs. You can also take your hands to the outer edges of the feet. But the big key here is pressing the tailbone towards the floor. Breathing into the hips. You'll feel this in the legs. But a nice release for the hips. This is... <laughs> It's like we're squatting, right? But we're not like putting any pressure on the feet. Squats are my favorite. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna come and stretch into this. So we're gonna come over to the left side. So you stay in your happy baby, but then you extend your right leg up. Okay, and then you're gonna take an external rotation to the right knee, so the, or the right leg. So the right knee is like working towards the right edge of the mat. Press out through the right heel. Okay, and then we're going to switch over to the other side. So we're going to bend into the knee again, roll over onto the right, and we're going to extend the right, the left leg up. Okay, so again, external rotation to the left knee. Breathe out through the left heel. And then we're going to come back, come back to your happy baby, okay? And we're going to draw the knees into the chest, give ourselves a squeeze. And then we're going to take ourselves down and come into a nice full body stretch. So first, legitimately full body stretch. <laughs> so just lay down on your mat. You're gonna inhale, take your arms up over your head. I want you to point your toes forward and not, well, forward towards the back of your mat. And then I want you to reach your fingertips up, right? So your toes and your fingers reach in opposite directions. Now we're gonna inhale and extend the right toes further more towards the mat and the right fingertips further out. So again, find length. And then we're gonna switch. Left fingers, left toes, reach. And then we're gonna come back. Now we're gonna come into banana pose. <laughs> so we're gonna, I don't know why the name of that pose makes me giggle. You're gonna take the left foot over to the edge of off of the mat. Okay, so over to the left. Now you're gonna cross your right ankle over and latch on, hook on, maybe not latch, but hook. Then with the top part of the body, you're gonna do your best to keep your hips and your bottom where they are. You're gonna take your left arm now over and then you're gonna pick the shoulders up and go over to the left side as well. And then as you do this, drop the right hip down. So we're getting this beautiful stretch all the way through the right side of the body. Okay, and then we're gonna switch it out. Start with the legs. Go ahead and take the right leg now over to the, off the right side of the mat. Take the left foot, okay, get your hook here and then you're gonna lift the shoulders up and take the top part of the body over to the right as well. But remember the hips and the bottom should stay in the middle of the mat. So we're not moving that. And then we're dropping the left hip now down towards the floor. And then you can reach over as far as you want on either side, just breathing space into the left side of the body. And then we're going to unhook the feet, bring them back to center. 
Bring the body back to center. Take your hands by your sides. We're going to bend into the knees, draw the knees into the chest. And we're going to rock our way up to a seated position. And we're going to find our way to the top of our mat. We're going to take our hands to our heart center. Go ahead and close the eyes or gaze down to the fingertips. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide today. Hands to our lips. May our words always be kind and true to others. Most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you. And together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. All right, Omis, and remember, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications button, hit the like button, comment, let me know, how does your body feel after you practice? What side gets more sore than the other? Do you even experience that? And let me know how this felt in your post kettlebell or strength training flow. I'll see you next time, Omis.